Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Confluence tutorial, we are going to learn about how to set up header and footer in your Confluence instance so that you have the consistent header and footer in the Confluence pages that you develop or that you create in your Confluence instance for any of the projects. So before we proceed further, I would like to mention that this video is sponsored by Jexo. Thanks to everyone who is watching this content. Jexo builds work planning apps for Jira Cloud such as Swanly, a comprehensive plug and play tool that offers easy centralized access to information across Jira project and teams so you can maximize efficiency in planning and tracking work. You can check the link or description below for more information. Thank you. So let's get started. So in order to start with the configuration of header and footer, you have to go to the configuration or the Confluence admin. So settings cogwheel, click on that in the right hand side and in the configuration settings, you have to scroll down to the look and feel section. In the look and feel section, you will have the option for header and footer. So if you click on header and footer, what it will open is it will basically open the header and footer section with the details. So here, if you see, read a little bit detail here. So what it does is it will customize the look of the space of your space with header and footer. And we can use wiki markup to add text, link, macros and images. So there are a lot of things that you can do with the header and footer using the wiki markup. So before we go ahead and start using header and footer, let's go and open the wiki markup and see how we can customize or how we can add the header and footer. Now in the very simple terms, if you want to have a header and footer, you can simply put a text here at the top. So say for example, I want to have a header RCV Academy at the top and RCV Academy at the bottom, right? So if I provide that particular text and save it, every page that I'll create now will have this header as RCV Academy and footer as RCV Academy. So let me go back to the space, right? So let me go to home page and show you how it will basically look like. So here, let me go to first demo space and let me see if there are any pages here. Yeah, there is one page demo page with template. And here, if I click on that page, you will see that RCV Academy is displayed at the top and it is displayed at the bottom. Okay. Now, if you go to the child page or you create any new page on in this particular space, it will have this header and footer in all the pages. So let me create one new page and show you that as well. So I'll title the name, uh, the page as test page and click on publish. And you can see that RCV Academy is displayed as header and footer. Now, the only exception in this particular case is say, for example, once you have set up this header and footer at the global level, it will be applicable to all the spaces and all the pages once it is set up at the global level. But in case, say, for example, you have changed the header and footer at the space level, right? So say, for example, I'm in this particular space and I go to the space settings and in the space settings, I go to the look and feel and in the look and feel of the space as well, I can override the settings that I have done at the global level. So I can go to the space header and footer and I can have a separate header and footer for that particular space. So here in the header and footer, I can say this is child, something like that. Okay. So RCV Academy. So let's put something different text in the header and footer and click on save. And now because I have overridden whatever the global settings for the look and feel header and footer were for this particular confluence instance. Now in this particular first demo space, all the pages should be having this new header and footer. Okay. So if I go to the pages and here you can see that this header has now changed to this is child header RCV Academy and this is child header RCV Academy for the footer as well, because I have kept the similar text for header and footer. Okay. So that's how you will enable header and footer at the global level. And if the child, if the spaces don't have any specific header and footer, they will inherit the global header and footer. And if there is a header and footer that you want to be very specific for the space, then you can specify the header and footer for that particular space and the space header and footer will be given precedence over the global header and footer settings that you have done. Okay. So that's the first thing to remember in the settings of the header and footer. Now, say for example, I go back to the home page. Okay. Let's go to the settings again. 
and understand how you can customize the header and footer to make them look really better and make them really present presentable for your projects and company. So go to the settings, go to the look and feel and in the header and footer, we will go to the wiki markup and we'll see how you can use wiki markup to add text, links, macros, images, etc. Okay. Now, just having the header without just just having a text as a header or footer doesn't add a lot of value. Okay. So maybe as part of your organization, you want a company logo to be part of the header always in all the pages. So what you can do is you can go to this confluence wiki markup and it has all the important things and settings that you can do to customize your header and footer. So say for example, you want to have add the headings, you want to add a heading H1 heading, then you simply have to say H1 dot and then the text that you want to specify. Say for example, I want this RCV Academy to be um, H1, right, to be heading one. And then I'll just say H1 dot RCV Academy and say for example, footer, I want to keep it H4. I'll change it to H4 dot and then save. And now if I go to any of the spaces, let's see that it has actually changed. So let me go to the knowledge base here and add a page. So here I'll create and let me provide the title. So sample page and publish. So I'm not putting too much detail there just to show you that the header and footer. Now you can see the header is of heading one and footer is of size H4, right? So that's how you will use wiki markup to customize the headings. Now you, you can do the lists as well. Say for example, you want to have the list, the bulleted list, then you can do the star and then followed by the bullet item. If you want the sub item, then you can have two stars. Similarly, numbered list, you have the hash to start with and then the sub numbered uh, item, right? So just go through these, this particular page, this wiki markup syntax page, it is really, really helpful to help you to customize the overall header and footer. But what I'll do is I'll show you how you can customize or how you can add the logo in the header all the time so that it appears on all the pages. And then in the footer, say for example, you want to um, put that all your websites, etc. Et then how you can add tables there. Okay, so let me go back and I'll do the global settings. So I'll go to the settings and go to look and feel header and footer and here now in the header i want to add the logo of my company always okay so say for example let's go to the image section of this wiki marker so we'll go to the images okay now say for example i want to display an image from external website on the page so my company logo might be at the particular url what i'll do is i'll simply copy this method okay so it starts with the, the exclamation mark. So you start with exclamation mark, provide the URL and then end with the exclamation mark. Okay. So I can simply go back and I can say, I want to add the URL of the image. So I'll start with the exclamation mark end with the exclamation mark. And within that, I will specify the location or the URL for that particular image. Okay. So this is say, for example, the image location the URL, I'll just sp specify that. Okay. And then in the footer, say for example, I want to specify the table which contains all my company websites. So usually like the websites have the footer, so they have certain columns and within the column, they can have links or they can have the support numbers or something like that. So in order to create a table, if you go to the wiki markup here, you will see that in order to create a table, you simply have to use these pipes, right? And the first row, if you want to highlight it, then you just use double pipe and then followed by heading one, double pipe followed by heading two and so forth. Okay. And for the row and column, you just have to use single pipe there. So same thing we'll do here. So for example, we want to have the footer, which says our websites. Okay. And then two pipes. And then we'll say, for example, we want to specify the contact contact as numbers there. Okay. And then two pipes and then we want to provide the support details. Okay. So this will be our header and now uh, header for that particular table. And now below that we'll start with a single pipe and we'll say our website. So I'll simply say HTTPS training 
dot rcv academy dot com followed by the contact number okay so i'll provide any contact number say for example followed by another contact number okay something like that and then close by so this will create a table with a row which has the headers and then the values which is basically the website name the phone numbers etc in the footer of each and every page so if i click on save now once this is saved if i go to the demo space or any space there which doesn't have their own header and footer configured then we should get this head and footer. So let me go back to home and we'll go to the knowledge base one, okay, where we have created the sample page. So we'll go to sample page and here you can see that this particular image is being displayed, right? And if you scroll down here at the bottom, you'll see that our websites, contact us and support heading is displayed. This is a table for the footer and we have these URLs being displayed there, okay? So say for example, I want to convert this to URL, right? So in the in the footer here, it's not a URL. So let me check how we can do it. So if we go down here, so we can simply specify something like this. So in the square brackets, we want to specify the URL, okay? So what I'll do is I'll go to the settings here. Again, go to the header and footer. And instead of directly putting there, I will put this URL into the square brackets. Okay, so now this will appear as the link on the page. So it is saved now. Let me duplicate this tab instead of moving back and forth. Go to home and I'll open the sample page. And now you can see that the URL is appearing there. Okay, so there is no limitation how much you can customize Confluence. There is a lot of support. The key thing is basically going through this markup page right and it has everything that you need to customize so if you just go through and read and see how you want to add the embedded list or you want to have the text effects say for example you want to change the text to italics strike through underline every input is there that you can directly use and customize your head and footer in the confluence instance okay now once you have customized this header and footer any page that you create in this particular knowledge base because now this rcv academy knowledge base doesn't have its own header and footer in the space settings if you go that if you go to look and feel you will see that its own header and footer settings are blank so here you can see that the header and footer settings are blank so that is why it is taking the configuration that we have done at the global level so now if you create any of the child page in this particular pages or in this space it will have the same header and footer that has been defined at the global level okay so let me create one more page to show it to you so i'll say sample page 2 and publish it and this page as well should have the same header and footer as we have defined at the global level right so you can see that the header has been added this image is displayed and at the footer you will see the website and the support details being displayed. now this is really important in the cases of say for example you want to create a confluence uh, website or the portal which is the support portal and you want to add these headers and footers in each and every page of the confluence so rather than doing it at the space level you can do it at the con uh, at the global level and then if at the space level you require that you need some different header and footer update the space header and footer that's how you will customize your header and footer for the confluence instance so that it is applicable to all the spaces and pages in your confluence instance so that's all for this tutorial i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching